Welcome to my office. Today we're going to be talking about the pie in the face writing method. Imagine, if you will, that you've been hit in the face with a pie. Why pie? Why not? It's pie. So, your character, you, for intents and purposes, have been hit in the face with a pie. Before you can react to it, you have to internalize that something strange has happened. One, we know that we have to use our five senses. So first we see the pie coming, and then we feel the pie fit, hit us in the face. And what does that feel like? Is it uh, cold? Um, hopefully it's not a hot apple pie straight out from the oven, because that would be potentially disfiguring. Is it um, tart? Is it sweet? Is it delicious chocolate cream pie? The point of the pie in the face method is to make sure that all of your characters' actions are really reactions to what's happening and not just stage business to move them from place to place. By truly feeling the pie hit you in the face with all of your emotions or all of your senses and your emotions, it becomes whatever you do next becomes a motivated action. So how much time you spend on that eternal internalization uh, from of what just happened before you move on to what you're going to do about it depends on what you're trying to accomplish in the scene. If it's a big emotional turning point where this pie in the face precipitates your character's uh, emotional journey from a stuffy stick in the mud to someone who can laugh at yourself, then you're going to spend a lot more word count on it. If you're in the middle of a rapid fire pie fight for the fate of the universe, well then you're going to move on pretty quickly once you get hit in the face with a pie. So always remember what you're trying to accomplish in the scene, but remember, at some point you have to feel that pie in the face before you do something about it. So to illustrate this point, <clears throat> I have arranged a demonstration. Okay, here is my brother who's volunteered to be the visual aid for my pie in the face writing lesson. And um, he is going to actually experience the pie in the face. <laughs> See, first he has to <laughs> internalize the sensations of the pie in the face. And then, once he has internalized it, he can take whatever action. Ah! Good pie. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, so there you have it. The pie in the face writing method. I hope that you've enjoyed our lesson today and um, happy writing. <laughs>